Okay, excellent evening to you parents and I hope you have been having a nice time. Happy weekend and compliments of the season. This is December and I sang a song waiting to show the parents, okay? <laughs> holiday is coming, holiday is coming. Yes, no more morning bells, no more teachers weep for the children and the parents too. I hope you're very much prepared for your children this holiday. Just, I think, about one month or three weeks holiday there. But for some schools, it's one month. For some schools, it's three weeks, while some schools will just be two weeks. And I hope you're ready to enjoy the children just this three weeks or one month holiday. So just get ready for us. We are back home. And if we are not back home yet, I believe that we will all be back home very soon. Students from the university will be having a break. Some of them will be having a break this December. Everybody is coming back home to celebrate. So get ready for the so-called Wahala in the house. I hope you're ready for that. <laughs> All right. So I said a big welcome to you to this evening's webinar. It's really going to be an expository session because it really took us time to put this together. That exactly what will the children do during this holiday? And we want this holiday to be meaningful for them. So we need to partner together to ensure that when your children are going back to school next year, the school should ask you what exactly happened to your children during December. What magic did you do? How did you do it? And how were you able to achieve this particular thing with your children or this particular um, activity or task with your children? So what are we going to quickly discuss tonight? I don't want... Um, to take much of our time, we'll be discussing how to make our children go global. Yes, we want to make our children go global such that anybody from any part of the world can see your children, can see your children's task, they can see what your children are capable of doing. Then you never can tell where um, support will be coming from, where scholarships and different kinds of things will be arising for your child. And this is really a big opportunity. It's going to be a great opportunity for you to allow your child to participate. So which aspects of going global are we introducing to you tonight as parents? We are introducing um, making your child go digital, okay? I believe that we are all using smartphones. We are all using tablets. We are using some digital devices, we are using computing computer, the, either desktop or laptop or notebook. We are using all that. So how can this be of great benefit to our children? Not just the devices, but without the device, how can your child go international? How can your child go global? How can any company, how can any company, how can any body out there access your child's ability and capacity and that is with the use of websites okay the world has gone global everything is going global and has really gone global so communication now is over the internet over different digital devices and we cannot be left behind i would like to remind us that 90% of parents on Learning Based Africa's platform came through one of our web pages, okay? They came through one of our web pages, and I want to believe that you also came through one of our web pages on the internet when you saw the advert on either Facebook or Instagram or any other social media. So how is it easy for us to communicate with you, or how has it been easy for you to communicate with anyone in any part of the world, it's the use of digital devices and it is also with the use of web pages. So call, name it, even as little as the WhatsApp you are using, okay? It is also a web page. WhatsApp is a web page that you go to whatsappweb.com. The YouTube you watch on your phone is also a web page because you can actually log on to youtube.com. So can you imagine that it is your name.com or it is your child's name.com? So if your child is bearing Esther, so can you imagine that you're having esthersweb.com or Esther, estherunkechi.com or you're having samsingslibrary.com or you're having samsingdigital.com or the name of your child.com? You can agree with me that anybody in any part of the world can access anything called 
dot com dot online dot xyz dot shop so now that's a perspective at which we want to introduce allowing your child go digital and go global and this program we're going to make your child go global for the next six months showcasing your child's ability and capacity for the next six months you're showcasing your child's ability and skills to the world that's very very important so what am i talking about here i'm, I'm trying to talk about websites okay i'm introducing websites to us and for you to see how far your child can go having a website personally right, website is a page is a content page a page with a content that can come as either text okay videos images a page whereby you can communicate you can you can communicate with other people like now you have your whatsapp on your phone you can see that you communicate to through that whatsapp so whatsapp is a website turned into application okay i hope we know that it is a web is a web page that has been also made to become an application so these days okay so i hope we are listening so if you can still hear me please can you type the number two now let me just confirm i've not been speaking into the air if you can still hear me please type number two in the comment section only one person has okay if you need to have access to the comment section please can you tap on the three dots on your device then click on in call messages yes tap on the three dots on your device and click on in call messages please tap on the three dots on your device and click on in call messages thank you so you'll be able to type and send me a message if you have any question kindly drop the question in the comment section so these days the principal the 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 principal method kids are kids use to consume information over the internet is through well-crafted websites okay designed to be a perfect balance between being um, informative and engaging okay now website is informative and website is also engaging and it is very important that learning how to design a website has become an essential skill in the economy these days everything we do mostly online we do it through a web page so that's to tell you that without a web page without a web page you may not be able to communicate and you may not be able to even access information on the internet so now let's talk about what exactly a web page is what do we understand by a web page now like i said at the beginning that a web page is 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 a page is a page on the internet that has a particular look layout and content okay so it has a content of a website and it focuses on the user experience okay and this has to do with how a website functions through through coding okay how a website functions through coding and also through now let me now learning how to design like i said learning how to design a website has become an essential skill in the economy and if we are to look at the benefits of web design for kids we would see that when it comes to web design and design generally apart from web design design generally opens up the creative minds of the kids it inspires the kids creativity okay it inspires the kids creativity so the first thing is that it's an excellent way for kids to learn about technology that's the first benefit of web design so what as as i'm talking to you right now the page we are actually using to run this meeting is also a web page and the web page is known as meet.google.com or google meet once you go on google and you are able to type google meet google will bring out the results for that particular action so the web page is meet.google.com and that will tell you that for anything you want to do on the internet these days you need a web page so it is an excellent way for kids 
to learn about technology. That's the first thing. It's an excellent way for them to learn about technology because it includes design. And whatever includes design has to do with the look, the layout, okay, the organization of the elements on the web page. So being an excellent way for kids to learn about technology and how it works, one needs to understand how internet works. So now, learning web design for the kids help them to understand how the internet works moving from a web page to another web page now what other benefits do we have for web design it keeps it it helps kids develop creative and critical thinking now we may not understand how important this is to their academics you know there is a subject in the school known as quantitative reasoning and verbal reasoning. Now, you see, those two subjects help children develop creative, creative thinking skills. They are supposed to sit down, study the sample that has been given, then figure out how a particular number has been arrived at. The same thing goes for verbal reasoning. Students are to sit down, figure out what the instruction has stated or what the author has stated in the instruction. So now when it comes to web design, it helps children develop their creativity because students will need to think of an, an idea, an idea using a website. A website is like a platform in which the student can use in expressing him or herself. A platform whereby the student can use in expressing her thoughts or his thoughts or the feelings about the environment, about his immediate and um, non-immediate environment. So the first thing is to know that it, designing a website is an excellent way for kids to learn about technology and how it works. Now, more of this is that kids develop creative and critical thinking skills by designing a website. Now, I need you to understand that I am a web designer and I can understand the work, the mental work that goes into website creation. And to create a page, a web page online, there is a whole lot of work that goes into it. It is not something that can be created in a day or in one week. Because as you're developing this website, you continue to think more. It begins to activate a particular part of your brain, which also helps these children. Now, I have a daughter who likes anything color. She likes to design. She likes to draw. She likes to animate. She likes to use different gadgets, different web platforms to design whatever comes from her mind. Okay, now, the same thing goes for any other child out there. You may be wondering why is my child not performing better in a particular subject or why is my child like this? That's to tell you that there is a particular aspect of your child that you need to focus on, okay, that will help that child develop better. Sometimes... For your child to even improve performance academically or for your students to improve performance academically, you may just have to tap into other aspects of the child, okay? You may have to tap into other talents of the child. Maybe when you tap into some talents of the child, okay, that we may think is not academical, that will also steer up the academical skill of that child and we begin to help that child to improve performance in academics. Website design or design generally is a way to help your child develop thinking skills and problem solving skills. Let's take note of that. Now, another thing is that it makes children familiar with digital tools. Very important. It makes students familiar with digital tools and software that will be helpful in their day to day lives. How do you want to survive in this? digital age or in this digital era so for the children we shouldn't allow our children to also experience the same thing we can't allow them to face exactly what we face some of us are had to grow we we have really grown so old before we 
are able to understand the use of our phones and the earlier we start now the better the earlier we begin okay introducing our children to technology the better especially when they are on holidays and during weekends these children can actually be busy with technology that will save them from um that will really that will really save them from involving themselves in dangerous play in dangerous games or in moving around with friends that will not add value to their lives so there are a whole lot of things that can help these children get busy with they can get busy with a whole lot of things that will add lasting value to their lives now a few years ago i taught a particular child in i think junior secondary and he moved to the senior secondary and right now this boy has gone online everything he does now is online he still chatted me up about last week that he wanted me to put him through about some things in digital marketing so the earlier we make our children begin the better for us and you never can tell who that sponsor would be may not be close by but the skills and the talents of your children can be showcased using web pages okay it can be showcased using web pages because the link that we call the url of web pages can be distributed online and thousands and millions of people can access your child's talents and skills online now i like to remind you that no child is dull no child is dull there is nothing like a particular child is dull is block headed there is nothing like that every child has a level of intelligence every child has a level of intelligence okay our iq are not at the same level so some children's iq are about 50 percent some are 60 some 70 80 some 90 some 100 and some children are just exceptional they are geniuses so once you teach them a particular concept there are there are some children there are some children when you teach them right now they may not grab it immediately but once you persist on teaching them that same concept they are going to grab it so the earlier will begin the better so that these children can they can they can be part of those children that would have gotten to a world class level when it comes to digitals okay when it comes to web development when it comes to website design when it comes to designing anything your children will be there and you can imagine that pride that comes with it as a parent that comes with it for you as a parent that my child is a web designer my child is a web developer now as it is now there's no industry that does not need web design too there is no industry that does not need a design tool so if our children these days can begin to design they can begin to to design different things and launch a website that can be accessed by anybody in any part of the world it's really going to be a plus for us now learning web design can be fun and educational okay is is a fun and an educational way to build their creativity and thinking skills because with web design tools with web design children can learn how to think outside the box now this is how it works when you get your child to begin to design your child will begin to think in a particular way you see that is where you begin to learn the way your child thinks because your child can actually express him or herself through designs and when it comes to designs we talk about lines we talk about colors that's why there is this subject in school called cultural and creative arts we call them creative arts where the children are allowed to they are allowed to express themselves using creativity they use their hands to mold things they use their 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 skills their coloring skills their drawing skills to express themselves but these days for children who are already age nine and above they can do amazing things with designs on the internet and it is better parents engage them with things like that especially during this period that they are going on holiday where you are going to have different kinds of family members around you're going to have different children coming back from school during this season so the safest way to keep your child busy is to engage your children in is to engage them 
is to engage him or her in designs. So now, this web design empowers your child to assess problems ob objectively and encourage him or her to find ways to solve problems. Now, when it comes to con quantitative reasoning as a subject, children, so many children find, it children find it difficult to figure out. And what most parents do is to just find a solution so they don't get to disturb them. But the fact is, you have to take your child through that creativity. You need to take your child through that creative thinking process because it is very important so that as your child grows, your child will have this skill to be able to solve problems when he or she finds him or her him, him or herself in a big organization, whether within the country or outside the country. Now, let's talk about honing abilities, okay? Now, web design helps sharpen your children's skills. It helps sharpen their ability because collaboration is vital when it comes to web design. We have to merge different web pages together. So that's why children's skills when it comes to design needs to be sharpened. So this helps sharpening their skills. It helps sharpening their creative skills. Then when it comes to completion of a project, that's another benefit. It helps them feel a sense of, oh, I have been able to create a website on the internet. I was able to create a project for myself. So your child can actually get lots of school assignments done using a website and using the website that he or she has created by him or herself. So how do you feel as a parent and how will your child feel knowing that this website named meet.google.com is this our website whereby millions of people can access all over the world. So meet.google.com or googlemeet.com or google.com and youtube.com is a very large platform that anybody around the world can access. And you know, you should understand what that means. The people who develop the website are gurus. You can imagine the kind of problem solving skills that they have. And you can also imagine when they started. So we need to put our children on that scale as from now. So our plan is to ensure that these children get busy between now and the next six months. They continue to have their websites. They continue to upload their projects, their classwork, their schoolwork, their homework, their assignments, their creativity, what they can create and how they can improvise things. They can begin to put those things on their website. And their website can be shared with thousands and millions of people. Like I said, an organization for children can rise up around the world and say, wow, who created this website? Whose child is this? I am interested in the progress and success of this child. I need to get the contact of the parents of this child because what I'm seeing here is really, really mind blowing. So on what part do you want your child to be due to a design due to a child, due to a child? It helps that child to feel a sense of accomplishment that I have been able to start up a project and also I've been able to complete the project so when he or she gets back to school the teacher will really be amazed he or she showing the website to the teacher hello mom during the holiday i was able to create this and this is my website and i'll be on the internet on the international platform for the next six months that's really going to be amazing so by learning web design skill your kids can learn how to become knowledge workers your kids can learn how to become knowledge workers and stay ahead of the game. So of all the children in the class, your child is the one having a website. So the website can actually be shared with the classmates. The website can be shared with the school. The school can also help promote the website. And that's really going to be a great one. So website design can be a lot of fun because Children like fun things. They like to have fun. So instead of them having fun, jumping around, having fun, playing with friends, whose values you may not appreciate, whose values may be different from your values, these children can actually be engaged with web design. They can be engaged with website design. So kids can learn how to design their website from scratch because it refines children's visual aesthetics in choosing colors. 
this is where children will have to choose colors typography and layout and it also involves quite a bit of content creation such as content writing and media creation so that's 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 very um, important so i would like to show us some website resources that can help the children so right now i'd like to share my screen with you i would like to show because we have beautiful templates that the children can use they can have their own website using these templates i'll be showing us different types so you can see how beautiful these templates are how beautiful these templates are so children can learn how to make all these designs they can learn how to connect different pages of the website together in just few weeks and once they are done they can actually share it so what exactly will they have on the website they can have what they have passion for if your child has passion for drawing your child can keep drawing taking the picture of the drawing and posting it on her personal website where it can be shared okay it can be shared all over the world then your child can also design because there is also a whole lot of graphic design in web design your child will be able to design different kinds of things and upload them to the website so you can see that all the pictures you can see on my screen right now are designed okay they are designed pictures so once these pictures are designed they can be uploaded on the website now when it comes to animation also the children will be able to con create content that have to do with animation then they will also be able to upload the animation on their own personal web page now this personal web page for the children will be will, will be on till about six months so your children have the whole of six months to learn to learn or to upload all their content they don't have the whole of six months to learn they can learn all they need to learn during the holiday then for the whole of six months your children can be uploading their skills their passion on their personal website so they can have their own website that is dot xyz dot com so your child can be bearing desmond esther so the child can have desmond esther dot xyz desmond esther dot online that is the child is online so there's also another one I would like to show to us right now. So all these are tools that your child will need for creating a website. Now look at this particular design. Your child will learn how to make designs like this, okay? Your child will be able to add button, especially for parents who have businesses. Your child can use your business as a template for him or her to create a web to create something like to create something like this for something like this for something like this for your business. Then you have something like shop now, so people can actually get close to you. Now all these things I'm showing to you are also web pages. Now this is also a web page. This is another web page. Okay, this is another web page created by someone. So your child can design fantastic web pages like this so the earlier they start the better they can design things like this and share it with friends and families like i told you they are going to launch their own website and they'll be launching their own website for three for sorry for six months okay i'm going to show you another website that looks so beautiful and your child can have can also design stuff like this now this is another one in fact this is a popular one this is canva.com canva.com has different designs lots of beautiful designs okay now your children can design exactly what you can see on my screen right now they can design things like this they can design things like this now i have this cartoon character here that was animated a few weeks ago so your children can come up with cartoon characters that will speak and attend to people on the website that he or she has created for him or herself your children can design something like this by him or herself the ch your children will design the eye the body of the cartoon character and upload it to the website 
so that anybody can have access to it. So this is, um, so we have lots of resources for the children to learn the websites during the holiday. Moreover, your child will be able to create amazing things. So your child won't be limited in any area. So for the basics of web design, we have the look because it has to do with colors, schemes, and fonts to the to the to the pages, okay? To the elemented, to the sorry, to the selected images. Then we have layout, which talks about the arrangement of visual elements. We have the content on the website, which talks about the image, the videos, the text, the audio, and is also consumed by the website visitors because websites are made for people who would come on the website to either have fun or to get information now if you look at google.com google.com is a website is a search engine website is a website where you go and search for any information now this same google you're seeing was designed by someone and your child can actually design better websites than this they can design design something like this website website we have more colorful websites online so this is one excellent way to introduce technology to your children and to make your children go global websites cannot limit your children web design does not limit children rather it helps it amplifies the child's skill it amplifies children's skills and children's talents and it's very important that we parents know that now how do you encourage your children to learn web design it is we use school projects to encourage children to learn web design you know when parents when children go to school they come back home with lots of assignments they come back home with projects they have been given tasks to do in the school so when children know that they are to complete this task and upload it on their own website. That excitement alone will make them complete their school's assignment. That excitement alone will make them complete their school's project. I hope you are getting value for your time. Okay? Now, how can you also encourage children to learn web design? You can encourage them through blogging. Blogging has to do with creation of content, uploading the content. Now, children can practice writing skills, especially children who don't like to write. They don't like comprehension. They don't like composition. Now, when they get into web design, web design encourages them to go into writing. They want to express themselves. They want to write about something in the environment. They want to talk about an event that happened somewhere. And while they are talking about the event, they will see that they need an image to represent the event. They will need a video to represent the event. So there is this sense of belonging and sense of responsibility that comes with designing a website then it also showcases your child's talent because children will design websites to showcase their talent to the world that was why we titled the um that was why we gave the title of this meeting going global then also it curates information okay it curates information because it helps children to add the link of other websites to their own particular website so for this, um, what do we call it? For this season, for this festive season, our goal is to help children to develop that massive interest in being creative. And this being creative, we also help them to improve academic performance in the school. Because once they know that website design is a particular project they have to do and complete, children will be able to focus on their academics because they know that once i focus on my academics i'll be able to upload it because the world is going to see what i am doing in the school and that we all that we also enable them to ensure that they do the right thing because they won't want to upload their bad scores or their poor scores or their poor skills so this will also motivate the children to improve okay now having a website for the children their own personal website at the age at which they are now gives the children a voice it gives them a voice. So the children can communicate with people all over the world using a website. Instead of them going through Facebook where they will begin to see all sorts of nonsense, instead of them going to YouTube, going to all different kinds of apps that you won't be safe with, children can be busy creating a website. 
I'm sorry, my network went away. So it's very important that you allow your children to begin to get busy, introduce your children to technology. It's very, very important that you introduce your children to technology from now. Now, we have come up with a program that will help your child launch his or her own website this holiday. Your children can have their own personal website, okay? Title.com or .xyz or .online. So this holiday, we want a minimum of, we want, we want a minimum of 20 students to have their own website. And that website can be shared across the world, okay? It can be shared across, across countries, across friends and families of the world. Anybody in any part of the world can have access to your child's website. And your child will be the one to design this website after taking our website classes. So your child will be able to design his or her own website. Your child will be able to upload content on the website. And what is the benefit for you parents? <laughs> for parents who have businesses, for parents who have work, they go to a workplace, they also need to create content. They need to also communicate their feelings and what they like to the world. You know, Facebook is a web page. YouTube is a web page where people are allowed to express themselves. But this time, it's like your child is creating his or her own Facebook. Your child is creating his or her own YouTube. So this program is for parents who want their children to develop their creativity through technology. So they'll be able to share the links with his or her family. They will have access to their websites whereby they can upload their assignments. I don't even need to know about it. I don't need to have access to it. But they will have their own details of their website using drag and drop because we'll be using drag and drop skills to teach the children how to create their own website. Now, normally when you go outside and you want to have a website, you'll be told that you will need a domain name, which is mychildsname.xyz or mychildsname.online or mychildsname.com. You need a domain name. And to get a domain name, it will cost you nothing less than, I think, about 12,000 naira. Then for the child to have a hosting plan, that domain name, we have a hosting plan. The hosting plan alone will cost about 25,000 naira, okay? Are you doing the calculation? Then now, for the child to be able to build the website, to learn how to build the website, it's going to cost about 30,000 naira. By the time you're adding up all this together, it's going to amount to about 65 to 70,000 naira. But right now, we are not doing that. So we want a cheap and easy way to help these children launch their own website this December. So for them to launch their website live, they are going to launch their website live, and their website will be live for six months. It's going to cost, it's not going to cost you 70,000. It's going to cost about 30,500 naira because we have been able to cut all those things down from the companies that sell, that sell the domain name and the hosting plan because we are bringing in children. So that we'll be able to log these children in, then the children will be able to create their own personal website. So if you want your own name to be the personal website name, you can actually give to your child or you also attend the course so that you also have this web design skill. So that's what we want to do for children during this holiday, raising children into technology, developing children's critical creative skills, their, their, their creative thinking skills, and also to develop their technological skills, okay? We are raising children who will be technological inclined because we are in the computer age, we are in the digital age. So if you are interested, can I see your comments in the comment section now you're interested in making your child go global making your child's name expression talents and skills to be seen all over the world please type the number four in the comment section you can't hide your child's skills and talents so the earlier you make your child learn the web design skills because it is scalable it is sustainable come now come 20 years time companies need web designers they need web design skills. And when your child go into the university, takes the BSc, takes the course, your child already has this web design skill. So for your child to go global, launch her, his or her own personal website that will be online for the next six months, is going to cost parents here 30,500 Naira. And we have tried as much as possible to also give parents a massive discount. Now for, all the parents on our platform will be given a 10% discount 
mind you you're going to have the website to yourself the children will be able to design it when we have our video courses where the children will be able to take the um, task on a daily basis we'll give them tasks we we'll show them how to do it then we ask them to do the same thing so they will begin to design their own website so your children will have access to that on a daily basis they will have the task they are to carry out then they will show their task to the world because the website is going to go live immediately the website will go live then you begin to see the progress of your child all you need to have is just the child's url so it's at 10 percent discount so instead of 30,005, it will be 27,450 naira for all parents but for parents who have showed interest tonight for parents who have showed interest tonight we are going to take out 5,000 naira from that 27,450. So instead of 27,450, you'll be paying 22,450 tonight between now and the next 12 hours. Between now and the next 12 hours. And after 12 hours, all parents will only be able to pay 27,450 naira. So the children will be trained on how to design the website then the children will launch their own website that will be online for a good six months. That's massive. That is massive. Your anybody can access your child's website. Your child can begin to upload the projects. Your child will begin to upload whatever they need. So for one child, you know, two children can't use two, one website. So each child will need to have their own website. So the money is for just only one child's website launching so if you go to any web designer web developer you ask them what it will cost you to design a website it's going to cost you the cheapest is 60,000 naira. you have 70,000 naira. but now your child is learning it your child will learn it your child will launch his own website so that's really massive it's just at the giveaway price so if you're interested you can make payment into our, into our account now Another thing is this holiday for parents who have issues with reading with their children, for parents whose children have issues with reading, your child is having problem reading. Your child cannot read simple sentences. Your child cannot spell. We are also going to be engaging children in reading during this holiday. Okay, the reading classes is only 6,500 naira for this holiday. We'll be taking your children through phonemic awareness. We'll be using phonemic awareness to teach the children on how to read. Then we also be using phonics. Phonics, that is the use of letter sounds, not phonetics, not diction. The use of letter sounds, okay? The use of letter sounds to help children develop how to read and pronounce any word. At age one, my first daughter started reading. Exactly age one, she could identify her name. She could identify her name. She could spell her name. She started talking early. So we introduced reading to her when she was three months. We started singing into her ears because that's our field. So we started flashing some cards. So the same method that we used in teaching children how to read in two weeks. I have taught lots of children to read. And within two weeks, those children started reading. So if your child has been having issues with reading, this is the time to also make your child to begin to read. So that is just a cost of 6,500. If you want, if you have a child who has been having issues in reading, especially children that are in primary two, three, four, and above, you can enroll them for our reading classes. So at this point, we have come to the end of this particular webinar. I say big thank you to everybody for attending this. Mind you, if you're interested in the web design for kids, if you're showing interest tonight, it is 22,450 naira just tonight between tonight and tomorrow morning. But as from Monday, it will be at just a 10% discount, which is 27,450 Naira. So just demand for our account number on WhatsApp 080, that's Learning Base official number 080-600. Okay, let me type it in the comment section. 90605, that's our WhatsApp official number. That's our official number, rather. That's our WhatsApp number, Learning Base Africa. So once we reach 20 students, we are going to close the registration. 
So the registration is open to only 20 students to help them develop their creative thinking skill and to launch them on a global platform. They will be seen by anybody around the world. When you share their links, they'll be able to design websites for any company. So you can imagine your child at this particular age can design websites for businesses, can design websites for companies. And that will also serve as a source of income when your child is done with the senior secondary school, when your child is done with the university, it can serve as a source of income. So please type your question in the comment section so I'll quickly answer it before the meeting comes to an end. Thanks for your patience and thanks for your time. I hope you got value for your time. All right. I'll be expecting your question in the comment section. Okay. Adults can register. It's for children between age 9 and 16. If you have children between age 9 and 16, you can register them for the web design class. Huh? So the class will begin next week, Saturday. The class will begin next week, Saturday, on the 16th of December. Huh? A child in GSS1 that cannot spell i cannot read fluently this child needs more practice then the child i'll need to know where the child's um challenge is i need to know where the child's challenge is maybe the foundation the foundation was not well laid so the child needs to constant at least the child needs phonemic awareness we call it phonemic awareness to so know if the child has a good knowledge of sound and how to blend sounds together. Many children can tell you the sound of the alphabet from R to Z, but they can't blend them together. So we we'll need to know if he can blend them together. So it's good you enroll your child. It's good you enroll your child. Please, if you have more questions, kindly meet me on WhatsApp. Thank you very much as this meeting closes. And have a wonderful night and a happy new week.